Welcome back. So today I've got a bit of a task on my hands. Every year I rust protect my bike. I normally do this by way of using ACF 50. I'll put a picture in here somewhere. I stumbled across Bennett's um, video the other day, testing the differences in rust blockers, rust treatment, things like that. Uh, I'll put a link in the top corner to his, or at the end, if I don't put it up in the top corner, I'll put it at the end. Um, but he said over the course of seven months, he uh, sprayed salt water on bits of metal um, with different treatments on. And uh, ACF 50 wasn't bad, but the one that actually came up better was this. So this is an XCP rust blocker clear coat. So I ordered this straight away obviously because I'm a sucker for people telling me stuff's good on the internet and then just buying it anyway. ACF 50 has been pretty good so far however these bikes they're well they're not known for rusting but what they are known for is occasionally getting some surface rust on some places. Now I'll cut in some clips here the bottom of the rear suspension is a little bit rusty and the clamp that holds on the rear brake lines has also gone quite rusty. That going rusty could be anything to do with me, it could be that the paint has chipped on it by me doing green laning for example, but the rear, the bottom of the rear suspension shouldn't have gone that rusty. What I am going to do at some point is I'm going to take off um, the clamp to the rear, the, the bit that is actually really rusty, I'm going to take that off and repaint it anyway so that doesn't really matter. And the rear shock's going to get replaced at some point. I'm eyeing up a lovely Wilbur set. Now, method of application. It comes with a spray top, which you can literally just screw straight into the bottle. I'm not going to use this because when I used the ACF 51, it, I didn't feel like it got into everything. And I didn't feel like it was a very even spread. So what I'm actually going to use is I bought one of these. It's got quite quite expensive, can you tell? Uh, this is a Clark's Pro spray gun. Again, I'll leave I'll leave links in the descriptions to things like these. The compressor I'm using came with this, which is a spray paint gun. But the entire kit that it came with, that this was including with, was about 18 quid. So if I remember rightly. So I don't really trust this is gonna be very good quality. This wasn't a lot of money. Uh, I think it was like 25, 30 pounds or something like that. Again, I'll put links in the description and um, hopefully this will be slightly better. And when I come around to painting things, I'll use this in the future as well. And hopefully it'll give me a nice finish. So just to give you a bit of an idea of what this looks like. There you go. So it's a lovely stainless steel finish. It's quite big and uh, it doesn't weigh a lot, but it sits quite nicely in your hand. And then I'm just going to connect that up to my compressor and we'll um, go from there. First port of call though, you need to give your bike a really good wash. The reason for that, this stuff essentially creates a layer over the top. It's almost like you're putting a clear coat of, clear coat of paint on the top. Um, so you need all of the contaminants, you need any sort of thing that could cause rust to come off the surface. You need to have your bike nice and dry. So I have dried this, but I'm gonna use, I've got a Brawl bike dryer, which I'll put in a section here just to show you what it's like. Just get any of the water that's sort of stuck hidden away in any of these crevices. Get rid of all of that because I don't want to be seeing anything like that in. Let's go and give the bike a wash and then we'll come back and give this a go. As some of you know, this is my Parker brand uh, air compressor. If you're interested in more details about this, I'll stick a link up in the top corner here. What I just had to do, the attachment down the bottom here was actually a screw type. Now that's obviously not the correct type for the lead to compressor. This is just like a click on system. I've taken the bottom of one of those and put that on there. So do bear in mind that if you're gonna do this uh, and you're buying a spray gun like this, make sure you've got the correct attachment for your compressor. Down here, you've got the air control, so how much air is going through the system. Up here, you've got the amount of liquid that's going through, and this is the fan, so like the spray pattern, obviously you've got here, this is your nozzle. 
so the fan control will be how wide that is so what i'm going to do i've just filled this with some water and i'm going to use it on just a bit of wood to see if i can get the right pattern i want and then once i've done that i'll empty this dry it out and then put the actual rust blocker in so let's do that it's, it's difficult for you to see i know but essentially what i'm doing with this the pattern is actually top to bottom rather than left to right as i thought it would be if i screw this in it's got quite a circular result if i bring this out it's a longer pattern i've just refined that a little bit more but it just means it's very very fine mist coming out and it doesn't leave obviously i know this is dripping but it doesn't leave a lot of beading or anything like that so i think the fluids are about the right amount it's a very fine mist so i think that is about right i'm not going to bother with all the plastic parts because those are uh, I've got some like um, paint protector stuff anyway, so that these are always protected regardless. So this stuff's primarily for the metals because it's basically like a clear coat going over the top. You don't want it to get on the brakes. You don't want it to get on your wheels or the tires. So last step before we start is to cover up anything that I do not want to get this stuff on. So as you can see, not a pristine job. You could probably get this better if you had some like bigger plastic bags or like bin liners or something like that to cover it. My main point for this was to cover any tire riding surface that is shown. The brake discs are covered on all sides. So again, you can see some down here, but, but mainly the spray is gonna be going this way. And then obviously, again, the rear brake and brake calipers completely covered with the tire completely covered as well. I'm gonna put all of this in here. And then once I'm done with this, anything remaining I can obviously pour back into the bottle. Locate those, bring that round to lock them in place. Now you should do this in a very well ventilated area, obviously I'm in my garage and get the door open, put my mask on and hopefully we should be okay. Obviously I completely forgot to do this, but it's worth covering up your foot pegs as well because you will be putting your foot there and it might be worth covering up your seat as well because if this stuff gets on it, you'll get a really slidey seat. Initial impressions, well, all I can say is if it keeps this level of shine on my bike, I'm going to be very, very happy. Um, it covers very easily. The only difficult parts are going to be getting in here to the rear shock and obviously in places like this that you can see are difficult to get to clean anyway. Um, but it's covering very easily and that's, that hasn't taken like, anywhere near as much as I thought it would. I'm going to quickly cover these up and then we'll get back to it. The main metals of the bike are very, very shiny, which I quite like. And as you can see in here, I've managed to get quite well into there. That wasn't actually that hard to do at all. So I'm going to do the other side. I'm not going to bother filming it because I think it's basically just the repeated it's just the exact same as this side, but repeated on the opposite. I don't know if you saw that. I'm starting to get a few little runs. So I've obviously gone on a little bit thick and you can see one here as well. So I will try and get those out. But as you all know, with paint, it's very difficult to get runs out once they're in. So I'm going to do a slightly lighter coat on the opposite side and see if that uh, comes out slightly better. But so far, so good. So I'm just coming out of the garage to let it air out. There's quite a lot of mist in here. That was actually incredibly easy. Uh, there was some runs in it, as you would have seen in the last clip, but it was incredibly simple to do. Uh, I'm gonna let it dry now. I'm gonna let the, obviously the garage air out as well. I did have the door open, but I didn't want it, I didn't want it fully open because the compressor kept going off and stuff. As a quick note, I did a compressor review previously, and a lot of people were saying, will it run air guns? Will it run nail guns, things like that. This run it completely fine, never run out of pressure or air at all. The only issue with it, because it is quite a small tank, it does keep coming on every couple of minutes. So I've actually tidied up and everything, so it's a little bit later. Uh, I'm quite cold. <laughs> it's got really cold all of a sudden. But I wanted to show you the results before I ended. Um, I'm actually really chuffed with this, regardless of whether it does a good job of actually protecting the bike, which it should do. The finish is so good. But look at this. I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but the shine is unreal. I literally don't think I've ever seen my bike this shiny. I'm so happy with it. 
So yeah, there you go. That was the XEP Professional Rust Blocker Clear Coat, the Clark Gun, and my trusty old Parker brand air compressor. Actually, before I pack up, I'll show you how much is left of this. You watch, I'll spill this everywhere now. The concentration levels. It's basically full. So we're about here. <laughs> there you go. So I've got nearly a full tub left. Doesn't sound the bottle, but if there's a, like a declaration on how long it should last, I'll put that here. Um, but hopefully that'll last at least a couple of months, if, if not longer. The rest of the bike needs refreshing on the protectant as well, because it just looks really dull now compared. But yeah, absolutely chuffed. Really, really happy with that. I'll put links in the description to everything below. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, if you've used this stuff before and you've got good or, or bad results, please leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to see what has come of it or like how you found it. I'm gonna go get myself a beer. Thanks for joining me and I will see you in the next one.